pre Riku. I know Riku, you were ahead of two of them. But I mean, it's legit unfun to play as Black Mage in these new raids. At least the, the V3 and V4 for certainty. They build a class that requires you to turret in order to deal the damage, in order to get off your, in order to actually even do your rotation. I haven't even gone into that, by the way. If you have to move as a black mage, your whole rotation, in some cases, has to be started over. Because of how short those, how short Umbral and Astral um, are. And if you drop an Okian, well, fuck you, pretty much. Oh. Your damage, like, plummets. Yeah. I mean, when it when it comes to this stuff, it's like, I tell this to Tom all the time, and he just likes Snickers, but, again, this is just me personally, and when it comes to, like, like, I, I can understand some fights not being fun, like, three and four, because you have to move so much, so I can get that, but half the time, it's just, like... I like hard fights. I'm kind of a weird outlier there. I like them too, but I like them to be fair. Yeah. And V3 is very unfair to Yeah, I, see that 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 I can't comment on cuz V3 is pretty fair for my class. Like my class can deal with all that movement fairly easy. Yeah, so, like, like you like you that's the other thing that actually frustrates the hell out of like, me. Like how much like how much DPS like have you done in V3? 3.6 Okay, because I have some usually... on my friend list that have done over 4k, and you are better geared than them. Yeah, and you want to know why they, you know, you know why they probably did 4k for it? Because I've done, because our, our clear for it was 3.6, and I can get up to 4k if I get lucky with procs. Also, you should note that, uh, did you ask your buddy if he got 4k on it because he was allowed to AoE the ads? No, they used the bar in the group for that. Yep, so that means he got to pad his numbers on the ads, which means more than likely his actual DPS is around 3k. Because you can get uh, a whole thousand off of those ads. There's no way it di they die oh, way no. too fast. Oh no, there's totally a way to do it. You just have to basically use triple. You have to use the triple flare uh, shenanigans. You can totally do it in the time that that's casting. That's how people are getting like 6.4k black mage parses on that. You can totally do that. I saw a video for doing it. It's stupid. I don't think it should be like it, it really is like straight up dumb, but it is more than possible to do it. Hell, there are actually, what Tarek was telling me about it, that there are some groups that once, I think the, this is probably the one that gets the 6.4, is that there are groups that don't actually use the limit break there. What they do is they just let the whole group pad the, uh, what was it, pad the DPS there, and they plan to kill it either shortly after or just at um, that part of the fight. I don't know how the hell they pull it off. But I mean, the numbers are on friggin' um, FF logs for it. Hey Sven, you want to do me a favor and check my YouTube stream and see if it has the visual artifacting? <coughs> uh, yeah. Oh, okay, there you go. Yeah, there's a, there's a, there's a link. Oh, I can see you. Yeah, but usually those groups are just like super hardcore and like, oh, you need to do this or you can't join, shit like that. It's like, it's like that part. I we just could do it. Here. I don't care. No, I mean, like, if we could do it, we're not super hardcore. We're not like every one of us is like, you know, Derek and wanting to pull, like, what is it? He's pulled like 5.7 until the before. Has he? That's nuts. I think that's one of his parses. Yeah, I'm happy with my 4.7s, 4.8s. Anyway, the long of the point, long of the short, it doesn't stop the fact that the class, like, it doesn't stop the fact that my class does not feel in any way, need, shape, or form needed or desired. On top of that, the content is directly built in a proposition to the very theme that the class is built around. Which means that, hey, I get to play this class and get carried by everyone. And I do have a problem with that. I have a huge problem with not pulling my own weight. 
that's not just uh, unfun, it's embarrassing. How does it look, Sven? Better than, better than Twitch? I was... Just when I went as Bart for the O4S, I know I was doing horribly, but I really didn't care. It's a prog, and you weren't doing horribly. Oh, I had the DPS compared, meter compared, set. Compared to what Bards can do, yes, I was. But that doesn't bother me, cause just because I don't care. If people have a problem with it, well, they can kiss my ass and go fucking die in a hole. Yeah, I really well, I, I, me too, me I too. really chill, don't. Chill, man. Like, you're getting. Oh I'm, ch oh, I'm chill. Don't worry. I'm just saying, I really don't care what people say about my yeah. DPS. I and really don't. I don't care I that it, much. I play the class because this I have is fun never, with it. This is yeah, you want to have did. fun. This was never a, I have a, uh, other people say my DPS is shit. Never once. This has been, I don't like the fact that I'm dragging people down. I also don't like the fact that the, mechan the bosses are, are made in direct opposition not, to the no, class. Okay. I don't. I don't like that. That, that's being, that the that the bosses are made completely in direct opposition to my class, to the point where the other no utility high DPS is has perfect no has perfect no problems doing anything there. Yeah, and you realize red mages are gonna get fucking nerfed at some point. No, they're not. Because they've already I, said they've they've already said they're not, not nerfing them. No, not immediately, but at some point they will be. Um. I, I guarantee you, at some point they will be, because there's going to be so many black mages complaining about that, and they're going to do something about it. Um, that's the thing too. No, I don't think that's going to happen at all, because I it's all going to happen eventually. Uh, it's not. I think what's going to happen is they're going to either buff black mage or buff red mage because of what of the stupid shit they're doing with summoner right now. They're not going to buff red mage. I can assure you, that's not happening. They've already delivered, they've already put their foot down on nerfing it, period. Because people already called for nerfs on Red Mage, and the devs were like, no, we're not nerfing it. If anything, we might be buffing it in the future. I just, I, I don't see them buffing it. I mean, I didn't see them doing, uh, giving friggin' Summoner uh, AoE balance, but they did. How many times have they buffed something and then realized it was a bad idea and then nerfed it again? You mean for the they whole done? patch cycle with friggin' Astrologian and the 10% balance? Yeah, they buffed that and then realized it was a horrible idea and then they nerfed it again. No, they didn't think it was a horrible idea. They nerfed it because the people enough people complained about it. Hell, they even buffed all the other things that Astro Religion has. There was a well, good worry there for a while that Scholar was going to be literally useless because Astro Religion could do everything that Scholar could do and better. That's why Scholar is getting buffs to, uh, to Sucker at the moment. But that's the thing. Enough people are going to complain that they're going to do something to stop I don't complaining. see it. Red Mage is too popular. Black Mage is not popular enough. Red Mage is popular because it's new. Red Mage is popular because it's everyone's favorite caster from the games. Yeah, so that's serious nostalgia blinding, but it's also new. That's why when Dark Knight came out, like 90% of all tanks swapped to Dark Knight. 90% of all healers swapped to Astrologian. It was new. It was something else. For whatever reason, the main concept is it's new. Right. I mean, that's, that's why so but many they people never swapped, nerfed, but they never nerfed. They never nerfed Dark Knight. They had they, they continually buffed Dark Knight. Shit. Right now they've kind of left it alone. It's like the, you know the, the, the redheaded stepchild of the tanks because of what they're giving Dark, Warrior. Because Dark Knight is fucking trash. It always has been. Um, compared to compared to other two, there's. I don't. Well, the long and the short is, is uh, I don't see them nerfing Red Mage in any way, shape, or form. Um, I see them buffing Black Mage, and I see them buffing Red Mage. This developer does not like to nerf. Yeah, well, that doesn't stop him from nerfing the shit out of everything anyways. I mean, have you seen what they've done to friggin' Bard and, uh, and uh, Machinist? They are more mobile, like, hell, I, I looked at the parses and shit for, for, like, Bard and Machinist. They do 
like I think there's a machinist parts I found for five point five K. Five point five K on a DPS class that can move around as it sees fit and then on top of that has a refresh for the raid. Bard and machinist are the things that are gonna get nerfed if anything. Gets nerfed at all. Stonefucker hasn't seen me yet, it's fed. I can't see Bard being nerfed that much. I can see Machinist being nerfed because of that turret, but... Or nerfed, I mean, the, nerfed the turret. Turret isn't even like... Hell, no, they're not! They're buffing the turret! That's part of the patch notes! They felt the turret was too weak, so they buffed it! They buffed Hypercharge. Wow. But they don't need to. That's a fucking thing. I know, but they did! Plan. They're doing it! They're buffing Hypercharge, and oh, we don't I'm... know what that buff entails. There's three possibilities. It's either the cooldown is being reduced, the vulnerability debuff that it imply applies on the, uh, on the target is being um, increased in percentage, or um, they're just increasing the auto attack on the turret while it's, har how it's, while it's Hypercharge. Two out of those three are horrible ideas. Oh. Like, supremely horrible ideas. Um, I don't know why they feel Machinists needs more buffs. Machinists is, like, literally yes, one of the best places I've ever fucking, been in. They're fucking stupid, and Machinists always been complaining they want more. What That's Machinists all. want wasn't what they got, well, it wasn't what they got, though. Machinists were, were asking for, for gameplay changes on the class, not damage increases. But all they did was increase damage. A lot of machinists that I've seen, they've always complained because they want more damage increases. All the machinists I've seen have been like, this this system is clunky. I don't like how bullets work. I don't like how the overheat gauge works. Can we have something that's actually fun and not clunky? That's what that's the majority that I've seen on Reddit talking about, not anything about damage. Because even at you know the beginning, like Machinist's damage was like, oh hello, why don't we just like deal all the damage. Hell, friggin' Tarek saw some dude pulling like 5.5 or 5.4 on a friggin' world boss pop. And he was like, how the fuck did that happen? And I'm sitting there going like, as a black mage going, how the fuck did that happen? It's because they pad the shit with that turret. Turret's extra auto attacks. No, with the Volna. Well, that too, not to mention it's super long. Okay. Hell, let me think because, it, because, it, because instead of doing like the smart thing, like if there's more caches in the group using the AOE one, they just still stick with single so they can pad the shit out of their own DPS. But the single doesn't do all that much more DPS than the thing. I know. Yeah. I, I know, but there's more people that can benefit off that. I know, like, I'm looking at I'm, I'm like, looking at hypercharge real quick. Oh, like, son of a bitch. Okay, so hold on. Like if like if there's three, or, if there's like two or three casters, and if the healer's DPS, it would be much more beneficial to use the AOE one, the bishop. But they use uh, the uh, what's the regular one, the single target one? Hold on, I'm I'm the rook. I'm, one second, one second, man. Okay, so this is kind of ridiculous. Rook auto turret, okay, has 20 seconds apparently of friggin' um, hypercharge, alright? And the vulnerability debuff from hypercharge lasts for 10 seconds. That means that for a 120 second cooldown on this fucking turret, right, you gain 30 seconds of damage up. Yep. And they want to buff that. Because they're dumb. I mean, if you're gonna use the excuse that they are dumb, then that means that I can't see them nerfing Red Mage because they're dumb. I also can't see them, um, like, someone, uh, Mr. Happy even made a point of this. They have spent, for some, they seem to be in a, in a, in a knee-jerk reaction of, uh, was it buffing anything that people have been complaining about, as opposed to actually looking towards balance for the classes, and it's showing in Samurai and Black Mage in particular. Because all these other classes, that green raid utility, which is literally almost every other class that there is in the game, 
that increase raid DPS are having their personal DPSs raised higher and higher, and then poor samurai and black mage, even with their crazy potencies and so forth, are not. The, there's the the distance between black mage and and, and samurai and the other DPS, as far as personal DPS is concerned, is narrowing by the day. So the thing that your black mage is supposed to be known to be good for, it's not good for because any other class can deal your black mage's damage plus give your the raid like a freaking 200 or 300 percent, 300 point DPS increase. And I'm just sitting there going like, why? Long and the short, disappointed in Black Mage, disappointed in the caster meta at the moment. That's another thing, by the way, that I kind of come to realize. Casters are really underappreciated in this game. So I'm wondering how Summoner will turn out after the patches. If it really turns into the quote-unquote instant cast like mobile mage, I might just go with it for a while because I'm tired of playing a turret. And there's so much content these days that doesn't allow you to play as a turret. I don't know how you would play black mage through the second part of Neo uh, through Neo X Def. I really don't. And there's a lot that do it. I don't know what they're doing. Well, I, they're probably having their group cater to them in some way, shape, or form. Maybe. No, definitely. I know that rotation like the back of my hand, uh, Riku. Yeah, you have that to be mean, that doesn't That doesn't mean every black mage in the world at the Savage rate is using that one rotation. No, I know like six or seven rotations that a black mage uses. That being said, actually the one I'm using is what most of them are using. It's the one I stole literally from those same black mages that were dealing that. <laughs> because I went on the FF logs and found the highest ones I could find and found out which rotations they used. There's not much, there's like little to no variance with black mage rotations. You either get it off and you deal high DP, and you deal your DPS, or you don't get it off and you deal nothing. There's literally no, no room for like, oh, I can't, like, like hell, hell, with Bard or with Red Mage, you can when you're doing the when you're doing the rotations for those, you can like like with Bard, like you said, you can you just have to know which ones which things procs, make sure to play your songs in the right order, and then just, you know, like adapt based off of what procs you've got. Uh, Red Mage is kind of similar to that. Is that when you which is actually one of been my biggest transition problem going to Red Mage is um, knowing when to switch for um, for what procs I've got. And making sure to do the mental math so that I don't do the wrong attack. But Black Mage is not like that at all. Black Mage is pretty much you do this attack at this time on this uh, like every single time. Otherwise, you lose your buffs and then you, well, you have to start over. I mean, hell, even through a through our through our a. What were they called? Okay, oh my god. Um, they were 12, 11, 10. Yeah, A9 through 12, we catered to me. Through that, to make that work. I also did not have particularly great DPS against A12 mm -hmm. because of all the movement they had us Like doing. an inch or two, maybe. Because you remember all the, you remember that, that stupid bullshit. God, those buffs were just annoying. Not buffs, the, um, the, 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 the sentences. You know which one I'm talking about, right? Yeah, those were hell on me as a caster. Though I will make a note, the plus side for that is everyone had to move into their into their respective spots. The only one who could continue to deal damage from afar would have been Puma with physical um, attacks. Everyone else literally had to move to their assigned areas. So it was it wasn't so pronounced as it would normally be because everyone couldn't DPS at that point. Because if we did, we'd kill each other. And because a lot of the melee had to run around and do crap, I could get on like maybe a fire four before time stop went out. Was that what it's called? Yeah, or time gate, whatever it was. I got shit drops this time, guys. It's just 
just another thing we have different points of view on. Because as far as I'm concerned, just play as what you want. Yeah, I, and, I, that's, and that's just that's just the end of it. That's just how I personally feel. It's like if you have some concerns, sure, I can understand that. But for other stuff, it just it's just not fun. So in all respect, in all respects, I am playing how I want. The Black Mage class is too much work for too little gain. Yeah, but you kept saying that you want to just keep playing Black Mage. I do. So. I want it to be worth the effort. It's not. That's just the facts. I want it to be worth my. I want it to be worth the, show, the the struggle I put into it, so that I can have fun playing the class. But the long and the short is, is that all I'm doing is putting in a lot of extra work and effort, stressing myself out off of it, trying to you know have fun with the class, and then finding out oh. You do the same damn thing on a red mage with like literally half the effort and be like, oh, okay. Which is what I did. Like, red mage is a hell of a lot less stressful than playing black mage. Has a heal and a res, so I stay alive through the fights more often. Done. That's the other thing that actually kind of pisses me off about Black Mage. They want me to sit there and turret, but they give me nothing in survivability. Well, they give me Mana Ward, but nowadays, Mana Ward doesn't account for much. You see, Mana Ward was a nice, sizable chunk of an attack from, you know, from an enemy, right? You know, you'd be like, oh yeah, cool. And then we get into these huge, crazy healer checks where you're like, oh god, I, you, the healer's got to heal like 30, yeah, like, what was it, 90% of your HP bar. Now, Mana Ward doesn't do anything to help me survive that. Like, knee, like, X, like, throws at, um, White Hole from X Death. Like, the, the does, I can't mana ward any of that and, and be like, oh, I'm not gonna get petrified. Because it bypasses that fucking shield, and I'm just like, oh. Woo. Yeah, but that, that part's on the healers, though. It might be, but I mean, that was the whole, like, my whole point is, oh, yeah, oh, that's here's, all, here's, that's, here's all, that, that's all White Hole is. It's. A healer it's all on the healers, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but uh, here's, a, here's a better example. In other content, I might be able to take, in the, like older content, I might be able to take an AoE using Mana Ward to continue my rotation and keep fighting. Blizzard, at the beginning of X Death, cannot in any way, shape, or form be tanked. They've gone... And this kind of this is I don't know if this is a design choice, but like a lot of their AOE circles now are instead of um, hey you take this damage maybe you get a vuln up or whatever and you know you are still you know you can still go on don't get hit by a second one where I could play around with that and be strategic about it with black mage now it's like oh you got hit by a ground AOE you're dead. Well, that's how Alexander was. No, I could totally tank Alexander's AOE ground circles. I did. Uh, not the ground circles, I mean the sacraments. More specifically, the radiant sacrament, because how many people didn't make it? Radiant sacrament. One... But radiant sacrament's not the ground circles I was talking about. I'm just, I'm saying that as a general term. It's like Alexander had stuff to where you couldn't tank. If you got hit by it, regardless of if you had full health or not, you were right. I know, well, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not disagreeing with that in any way, shape, or form. I'm pointing out that, you know, the basic, you know, Instead of having like one big attack like Alexander had, where, oh well, crap, just don't get it by this one mechanic, which in this case for um, X Death would be the White Hole. Instead of getting, instead of but instead of not getting hit with it, healers heal up so that it doesn't hurt. Now it's like, oh, he's got like seven of these. Like you can't get hit or you die. Blizzard will kill you. Fire, the fire thing will kill you. The friggin' thunder will kill you. The meteor, apparently, if you don't hit it with Adol, will kill you. Alma guessed the beginning of Neo of Neo X Death will straight up wipe your party if you don't mitigate it with uh, by well, by lowering its damage. Shields won't even protect you. I can assure you, it was a design choice. <laughs> yeah, and I don't like it because, or at least I don't like the fact that they made this choice, but then don't give me any tools to handle it because I can't move. I can't move. 
why don't I get like a heal? Like hell, you know what would be really cool? You know, like take half my mana for like some some kind of instant heal or something. It stops me from doing my rotation, but it lets me survive something. Instead, they put mana ward in a 120 second cool on cooldown, and then make it that at any attack that I would be that, that I would hope to try and tank with mana ward will instead one shot me even with mana ward up. I am a bush. Again, again, that's probably a design choice because I'm sure they don't want people to try to fudge mechanics. That's fine. Don't make a class that requires you to stand still to do anything. And then make its only mobility option a DPS game, so you have to waste it in your opener. <sighs> they really should not have made triple a DPS game. They should have made it like here. You, ca you cast it at the same speed you would normally cast it. However, it's uh, instead you can move while you do it. That would have been a hell of a better choice. I'm pretty sure it wasn't designed as a DPS game, just people saw it as a DPS game, and now that's just expected as a DPS game. I don't know how they didn't see it. I mean, they probably did, but figured they would, people would probably take it more as a mobility thing. But, I don't know. But for the most part, when it comes to that, it's just because what other people are saying. Oh, this is expected. No, it's not. Um, but it, it's not. It, that, for, that's for, not what. That's not what. If, if that's not what it's designed for, that's not. Ex it shouldn't be expected. I know ex it is expected. But I mean, okay, if it's not designed for it, explain to me this. A fire four cast time is two point six seconds for me. With triple and ley lines up, it's now one point nine seven. They knew that when they made Maybe, but at the same time, I mean, maybe not. They have to! That, they, 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 those are input numbers! They coded it! Are you trying to go to bed now, Ed? There's no way for them not to know! They literally never, coded the ability! You never know, dude. You honestly never know. You would have to be completely brain dead. And if how many people inputting are, in... How many and how many people do Swear coding are completely brain dead? Brain dead. They're not. Someone took a, someone made this ability with the Black Mage balance in mind to the point where they even said, hmm, we should, because we're adding this ability, we should take off 20 potency off of each of their fire four attacks and each of their ice attacks, and on top of that, make sure their casts are a bit longer, which they then reverted by changing the casts back. They knew what they were doing. Maybe. I'm sure they did. To, I'm sure they did to some extent, but again, you never know. Uh, you, can't just, you can't just make assumptions the whole time. So it, it could it could literally go either way. Unless they come out and say, to, "Oh, I actually disagree with you on that." Did they come out and say, "Yes, it was designed for a DPS game and nothing else"? Yeah. Well, I mean, like nothing else. No, They've, it's a DPS gain and supposed and for movement. But the problem is that since they made, it's like here's another here's a good example. It's the fact it's like with um, uh, Red Mage how Corpse Core and Displacement are have DPS uh, have damage associated with them when they both shouldn't, because then people cheese ball it. It's a well known fact that if you do something like that, people will cheese ball it to get more damage out of their rotation using it. Okay. Um, so I'm just kind of done debating now. That's just me. I don't like debates. Yeah, just agree to this. I mean, you, you, if if it's if that's how it's designed, then okay, yeah, you are right. If that's designed, if that's how it's designed, it's just starting to frustrate me personally. And so why I keep going back? Just play what you want. Yeah, if you want to play as a black mage, play as a black mage. Who cares? I don't, so I'm not. 
but that's I'm just saying that's that's my ultimate opinion. time. Hey, that's another question actually, Riku, because you, whenever you watch streams, it like doesn't work for Twitch, right? Uh, Twitch is just weird, like... You should see if you can watch my YouTube stream and if that fucks up. Just out of curiosity. Well, like, I, I could, like, some streams work, but, like, your stream, for some reason, cuts in and out, Tarek's stream cuts in and out, Zeus' stream cuts in and out. I think it's, I don't know what it is. It, it could just be this gay, it, should, it could just be 14 in general. Yeah. Cut, cuts in and out, because I think anyone that I've tried to watch with 14 is cut in and out. Cause I've watched, I try to, I watch other streams just to make sure it's not just everything or if it's just me or something, I don't know. Yeah. But, like, there are some streams that I have no problem whatsoever watching, and then it's just like, oh, I try to watch any of your streams. It's like, no, no, it ain't happening. Sorry. Well, like, it, it was, it was never a problem until whatever that day that Twitch was down for something. Yeah. And then everything's been messed and, up since. Yeah. I don't know if, again, I don't know if that's just me, it could be. I don't know. Okay, the bus has come in, like, at the exact same angle for the past few games. <laughs> I found this crazy house that I need to show you, Riku. It's on like the north east side of the map, like right in the top fucking corner. When I found it, it was late game and I thought it had been somebody fucking with the house and building shit, but it wasn't. It's just the way the house is. It's real funny. Hey Sven, I have a question for you. Mm-hmm. How much of a DPS gain is it during uh, V3 Savage, during the ad phase? Is it just using AoE as a black mage? Okay, so, um... You, uh, you said, like, potentially 1k, but it's like, if you're using AoEs, I don't... Okay, so you, uh, you don't know how much I hit for, uh, for a... Uh, I kinda uh, sorta know, like... Okay, so, um, let's, let's, hold on a second, hold on a second, okay, so that foul right there is a 17k, okay, that's without a crit and without a direct hit, foul can crit and direct hit for upwards of 34 and in some cases 38k, um, I've seen, I've seen you pull over 30k on them, yeah, so 30, uh, so, hold on, 38k and you're only, and foul, uh, loses 50% it's 50% potency when it gets to it five fifth five enemies or more. So, how many ninjas are in that fight? Uh, six? Six. And one giant. Okay, six and one giant, so seven. So, let's go and lowball this shenanigan right here. So, if you have seven enemies, okay, and that foul hits for just, say, a 30k. Okay, let's just do that, because that's easy. I can totally get a 30k foul off of something, right? Um, so that means that you know, you're hitting all of those enemies pretty much for that foul with a 15k damage, quote-unquote, if it's doing half. Um, my Fire 4s, a single Fire 4 in the same cast time, is equivalent to 12k damage, which means that in that one spell, I have hit every last one of them with a critical Fire 4. Uh, that's just the the foul. What you do is this. Hold on a second, because it's going to take a bit, because i got to show you how it works. <laughs> it's going to just be a bit. Give me a second. Do, do, do. Boy, two shield potions. Oh, you're... Okay, I see what you're doing. 
Hold on, I'm just getting the I'm just getting the foul proc You're up just first. Calling for foul, yeah. Yeah, it's the only thing I can do at this point. So give me give me just a second here, because sadly you can't get just fouls from having it up. But you'll have foul up at this part of the fight. Okay, cool. So just using this, okay? Oh, double flare and foul. Actually, you can get off a triple flare there, but I had you have to use um, convert, and I didn't do that because I was stupid. Hold on, <laughs> wait, wait for 43 seconds, and I'll show you. And, I, and I'll show you because those those flares, okay? They each hit um, a fire force worth of damage when they don't. And that's hell. They they hit that when they don't crit, and they also spread that around to everyone. Um, though they get to 70% less once they get a, get up to a certain number of targets or higher. However, the problem here relies is the fact that if you do flare, 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 and then ether followed by flare, which gives you four flares, which you can do completely from you know just from four GCDs, especially if you don't actual like you don't need to use the the caster limit break on those suckers if you use four flares and a foul. It's disgusting. Well, I mean, it's not all about it just killing the ads. It's hitting the boss too. Right, but you can hit the ad, the boss, and the ads with all those suckers. That's the thing. We because we use a different. If mechanic. you like, if you if you uh, take her next to the giant, you could. Hold on. Here we go. Watch. But, but since the main tank is uh, is grabbing the ninjas, usually she'll go by the ninjas beforehand. There. That. Um, six or seven enemies. Um, like, okay, here's a good example. There's a, there's more than six enemies for this part, but you know that uh, that half pull in Temple of the Fist? You know, with the one with the bear and the, and the Colbins and shit? Oh, after the first boss? Yeah, if I were to use that... That trick I just used, that you know that 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 basically second pull after the first first boss, right? It's more enemies than what's in um, Halicon Narcissus' fight. But to give you an idea, if I use the quadruple flare plus friggin' like uh, plus friggin' uh, uh, foul on that group of enemies, Riku, I can hit 12k AOE DPS. You can really butter up your numbers with. Oh, he had a purple fucking assault rifle. This is Christmas, guys. <laughs> I wasn't aware that, that AOE in general could just could boost you like that. <laughs> um, the reason because is because, and this is actually one of the re one of the things that I wish that we saw. It's something else that Mr. Happy. Yeah, you just turned into a robot. Yeah, he did. He just died for me too. Oh, yeah, he disconnected. Rip in peace, Fen 2017. <laughs> oh shit, I need more ammo for this gun. I only got 19 shots for this purple gun. Dude, I don't I don't know why I feed into debates. I honestly don't have any fucking clue. <laughs> yeah, for a while so... I was just like, guys, just agree to disagree. Like I uh, just and no, it's, it's, it's like, not even you too. Like you were just trying to end it after a point, and Sven just kind of kept going. It's because he's obsessed over numbers. I don't. I just don't care. Yeah. I do shit. I do shit to have fun, even if it's, you know, even if I'm not good at it or it, no longer part of the meta or whatever. It's like, eh, I don't care. I do it. I have fun. Yeah. I pick the class that I want to have. I Sorry about care. that. My computer crashed. Um, but yeah, 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 you got the, you got the Pokeball, I figured as much, you turned it to a freaking robot and it just went Yeah. Um, the other, <laughs> yeah, the other thing that I hadn't even, like, mentioned yet, Riku, is that if I sharp cast Thunder 3 before, say Thunder 4 before all this crap, Thunder 4, for some reason beyond my comprehension, does not suffer damage fall off. Which means that a proc from Thunder 4 is disgusting. So if you get lucky with procs, you can get even higher, um, like significantly higher, and you're just kind of like, yay! 
Oh, and no. this is, and keep in mind, keep in mind, this is not even you, considered. Uh, you, you logged out, just. Okay. This is, I'm probably, gonna, I'm probably, I'm gonna stay logged out for now. I know what happened. It's fucking Firefox crashing my NVIDIA card. Um, because apparently Firefox and NVIDIA hate each other. You, um, use Chrome. I, I would, but I like Firefox. I'll <laughs> figure something out. Um, but anyway, like I was saying, like, that's not even considering, like, if you gave someone a single target minute long ballot. So there's 10% extra damage. And then trick attack on a target. So I mean like they're already going into that phase probably at high damage. And then on top of that, instead of having to turn away from Hal like we, we always separate Halicarnarsis and those ads. But you can put them all together. And then just AoE the shit out of fucking Halicarnarsis. Kill all of our ads super quickly. Like here's the thing, you'll have a Thunder Dot on Halicarnarsis, which means you can even start off with a Thunder 4 proc. And just proc, proc, and then damage, and weave the procs in underneath shit, and just be like, fuck you, eat AoE damage until you li you can literally kill the whole room full of ads with just that, and just be like. But, um, I, I, don't, I, I don't know the math behind it, Riku, but if you have a large number of enemies, like, hell, um, do you have, any, you have multiple t training dummies, right? Mm, I have one. Uh, you you I have, have multiples. I, I do. Here, go I to my house. Multiples. If you're at the FC, I have multiples. Tom, can you? Uh, While well, you're you're playing, fuck. Yeah, I only have one because I have so much crap in my yard. I can only afford to put in one. I'll go to my house. I'll set up some dummies. Because I, I want to show you just what damage can be done on three of them. This is the other reason why I would get into fights with Tarek about friggin' parse numbers on FF logs. You can't trust them. Is also why Aura on his summoner, uh, he was able to get he was able to get really high numbers in uh, A12. Remember when those ads come out? Did he do? No, he never did A12 as a summoner. He always wanted. He did it once or twice as a summoner, and then he wanted to switch over to Ninja. I don't remember that. I just remember him wanting to swap to Ninja, and that was just a complete shit show. He was much better summoner. <laughs> Yeah, like, I we, to be the we, best were, we were able to uh, we were able to push it when he was a summoner, and then we swapped to ninja. We couldn't push to save our fucking lives. Yeah. Oh, but what Mr. Happy was talking about that I kind of have to agree with, you know, Black Mage might be a hell of a lot more wanted if there was actual meaningful AOE that needed to be done in a raid that wasn't. Oh, hey, instead of AOEing this, why don't we instead limit break three? Yet? I mean, for that AOE damage, like, that AOE damage, I can see that being needed to where the LB3 wouldn't be needed, but since LB3 is usually easier... I make it sound easy to pad numbers on Halicarnassus, but there's a reason why Tarek even said we need a little LB3 there. The people who are padding their numbers on that fight are doing so... It, you know, even if they're padding their numbers, the fact that they can control the fight to that to, to that degree without getting fucked. Anyway, head to my house real quick. I've got the other dummies there. Because I got ACT up, and I want to see how this will work. Since you have that up, could we also try something afterwards? Yeah, sure, if you want to test some stuff. I, I just want to see, like... How well I do as an injured, because I have no fucking clue. I couldn't tell you. I'm not, I don't know anything about the, the rotation, but hold on. Hold on a second. Uh, I've got to go off and get them out of my... I, oh, I hope I didn't sell them. If you put them down uh, in your yard, I don't think you can sell them afterwards. Well, I hope then I didn't throw them away. If you 
did. I think it would just be a matter of how many um, allied seals do you have? Or Centurio oh, seals or whatever. Oh, I'm not wasting those suckers on them. It'd be awful. Well, for what they're changing, like, did you see the hunt change that's coming? Yeah, I like that, though. So, I mean, if you, if you have to spend them, you can get them back, like, ten times faster, so it's not... It's just whatever. Since every S rank and A rank will drop some Oh, I found a blade now. striking dummy. There's one. <laughs> Hold on. Kaylee. Yeah, I see. Here you are. Alrighty, you're not in there. Marcus! Well, we can get free by placing this on in, in the guild house. I guess we're gonna get System. Do you guys if oh, I bring? Do you guys mind if I bring a friend in here? Because he's gonna play uh, Fortnite with me. Uh, do I know him? No, he's one of my IRL friends though. Like he's probably my best friend in real life. He's really. Cool I'll guy. let. I will trust your judgment. Add him temporarily. If you don't mind though, don't. I don't want to particularly keep him necessarily until I can get better to know him. If that's alright with you, Tom. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, you may add him temporarily. Alright, so hold on a second, Riku, because we have to wait to get foul up. I've been trying to get him to play fucking uh, Final Fantasy as well, but it used to be really hard into WoW, and he just doesn't want to like lose his life to an MMO again, which is kind of understandable. Fuck! <laughs> Screwed that up! Because he like fucking played WoW heavy all the fucking time, and he's like, man, he's seen me play Final Fantasy a few times now, and he, every time he sees it, he's like, I really want to play this, but I really don't, because go <laughs> goodbye my life again. And I'm like, yeah, no, I understand that. So, um, what's a life? Is that some kind of food? Keep in mind, I'm pulling about 4.9. Fuck! I did it again. I keep forgetting to refresh this goddamn buff. Did you Hold wanna, on. Did you want to come with us, Riku? I think Riku and I are going to be testing this first. Yeah, no worries. Can I bet? I don't forget to refresh it. Yeah, I know. I know. Jeez. I love how it's a 50, 60, and 70 striking dummies. I mean, like, what choice did we have? Oh, I know. I just find it amusing. Okay, good. Alright, so remember, on, my, on a single target, I was dealing 5k, right? Or not even 5k, uh, 4.9. Okay. Pray to do this right. I'm also going to take this opportunity before 
you've even got on Oh, recently. I was at 11,000! To add Logan on your account. So if you join us tonight, we don't have to back out and figure that out then. Just get it So, done. after using the foul, at the foul, and that was with three targets, Riku, at the foul, I hit 11,000 damage Damn. for DPS. Damn. And I, by the time I got over there to stop the timer, I'm now sitting at 9k. Now, that's more, from three targets, that's more than double my single target DPS. That's with damage fall off. Now imagine if there were seven of those. Mm, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. That's what I'm getting frustrated about for stuff. I mean, it'd be nice if there was actual content that required a Black Mage to do consistent AoE damage, but not. The only time the AoE is worth the time is when there's three or more enemies at a time, and there's you can only, you're ever only ever going to have two tanks. So the idea that there'll be three mobs bunched together for you to have to AoE is pretty much like non-existent. So is that chance again? Don't get, don't, don't get me wrong, if I'm doing extra roulette and you want to get through extra roulette as fast as possible, well, Black Mage is the way to go, because 11k... Yeah, yeah I was going to say, because isn't like Black Mage is still on, like, always will be, like, the kings of AoE damage? They weren't in, um, Heaven's Ward. 